Gojam was a kingdom in the northwestern part of Ethiopia, with its capital city at Deborah Marcos. This region is distinctive for lying entirely within the bend of the Abi River from its outflow from Lake Tana to the Sudan. Gojamus believed that they are the original people mentioned in the Bible as the river Gihon, Gihon encircling the land of Kush extending to the ancient kingdom of Moro. At the fall of Moro to the Aksumite king Ezana, Gojam became a kingdom and later joined the rest of the kingdom of Ethiopia having their own kingship up unto the coming of Meng like two of Sho in the late 19th century who reduced it to a province. The name Gojam was given to the inhabitants due to their resistance in accepting the doctrine of the Alexandrian Church in the past, keeping their own version of the Ancient Testament, and respecting books like Tezaz Asen but the Book of the Death of Moses, the Book of Enoch and that of the Psalms in G's Ethiopic version. Gojam's earliest western boundary extended up unto the Triangle to ancient Moro in Sudan. By 1700, Gojam's western neighbors were Agormida in the southwest and Kwara in the northwest. Agormida, never an organized political entity, was gradually absorbed by Gojam until it reached west to the Sultanate of Guba. Juan Maria Shuva noted in his journeys in Agormida that in three prior months, the Abyssinians considerably advanced their frontier towards the west of facing what was left of the independent regions. Guba acknowledged its dependence to Emperor Menelik II in 1898, but by 1942 was absorbed into Gojam. Dek Island in Lake Tanna was administratively part of Gojam until 1987. History The ancient history of Gojam is mostly associated with religion. During the pre-Christianity era a Merchul Mariam and Gishabe in the eastern and central parts of Gojam respectively were places of worship, along with Tanakikos on Lake Tana, the Aksumtesian in the Tigray, and Tadbaba Mayim in Wallo province. Merchul Mariam was a place where animal sacrifices were made for worship. Gishabe is also considered a sacred place for being the source of the Abe River, also called Felijgian in Gies. Gien is believed to be the biblical name of the Abe River that is mentioned in the book of Genesis as one of the four rivers which flow out of Eden, and encompasses the land of Ethiopia. Considering its location within the bend of the Abe River, the province of Gojam is also referred to, especially by the church community. Asgian or Felijgian. The first church in Gojam was built at Merchul Mariam, which became the second church in Ethiopia, next to Aksumtesian, and hence the second most important. Tradition relates that Christianity then spread from Tanakikos, Gishabe and Merchul Mariam to different parts of the province. Gojam then became home to some of the finest liturgical schools in Ethiopia. Other schools worthy of mention include Washer Amariam, Dima Georgis, Deborah Elias, Deborah Werq, Emmanuel, Silalo, and Gonji. These schools are generally credited for developing a sophisticated genre of expression called SEMNA work which is distinctive to Ethiopia. The earliest recorded mention of Gojam was during the medieval period. In a note in a manuscript of AMDA Sion's military campaigns there and in the Damote in 1309 EC, during which time it was incorporated into Ethiopia. It was also referenced on the Egyptus Novello map, where it is described as a kingdom. Emperor Lebna Dengel, in his letter to the King of Portugal, also described Gojam as a kingdom but one that was part of his empire. At least as early as Empress Eleni, Gojam provided the revenues of the Empress until the Zamenames Affint, when central authority was weak and the revenues were appropriated by Fassel of Damot. Gojam then became a power base for a series of warlords at least as late as Ras Halu Tekel Haymanot, who was deposed in 1932. During the Italian occupation, Gojam came to be the home of armed bands who resisted the Italian occupiers, whose leaders included Bile Zelik. 
Mengesha Jemberi, Negish Bezabi and Helu Belave. These resistance fighters, known as Arbenyoch, limited the Italians to only the immediate areas around heavily fortified towns like Debra Marcos. Biles Elik was even able to fully liberate and run civil administrations in the eastern part of Gojam and some adjacent Wardash in South Wallo, and North Sho. Since the Italians were unable to bring Gojam under their control, the province was finally chosen by Emperor Haile Selassie as the safest way to return to Ethiopia. During his return, he was supported by the combined forces of the British Army, Gojami Patriots, and other Ethiopians living abroad before then in fear of persecution by Italians. During the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie, however, the inhabitants of Gojam rebelled several times due to resentment over ill-treatment of patriots and increased taxes. The latest occasion in 1968, about the same time as the Baal Revolt. Unlike in Baal, the central government did not use a military solution to end the revolt. Instead replacing the governors and reversing the attempt to levy new taxes, in response to the 1968 revolt, the central government went as far as waiving tax arrears back to 1950. With the adoption of a new constitution in 1995, Gojam was divided, with the westernmost part forming the majority of the Metical Zone of the Benish Angle Gummers region, and the rest becoming the Ajuawi, the Mirab Gojam and the Misrit Gojam zones of the Amhara region.